Can we take a minute to talk about bras? I know, some of you just choked on your coffee, I'm sorry. So, you know, all you other... Good morning everybody. It is 11 27 a.m. Sunday, October 3rd. Don't get excited. I looked. I have an Etsy order. I'm going to go drop it off to go out into tomorrow's mail so I don't have to do it tomorrow. I've got it to edit. I've got to edit the vlog for last week. Jeez, my hair. Like, this is what happens when it starts growing out. I'm letting it grow. I don't mind it short, but I'm letting it grow now. I'm, anyway. It just gets wild. I look more and more like Einstein every day. What are you going to do? While we're driving, let's have a little chat. So all my friends, my friends, all of my mom's friends out there who are in the dog breeding and training world and any of the rest of you who are much more knowledgeable about dogs than I am. Um, my dad has my mom's dog Tala she's a purebred German Shepherd she's 11 years old and at home at his house according to him and my niece and her wife um, she doesn't have any potty accidents in the house she's really good about it but at my house she keeps peeing in the house and like I don't mean like a couple drops I mean like lots of pee so I don't know how to get her to stop doing it. <sighs> Other than just buying her a doggy diapers. And maybe, maybe, maybe that's what needs to happen. I don't know. Um, she does have a thyroid issue and she's on medication. Um, are they accurate about her not doing it in the house? I don't know. Um, his house doesn't smell like dog pee, necessarily, mostly. It's not the cleanest thing in the world, so could you tell? Maybe not. Um, I, I don't know what to do. So if any of you have some advice, let me know. Um, he is visiting and he's welcome as often as he wants to come down and he's welcome to bring Tala, but we might have to keep her outside unless she's going to bed because she keeps peeing in the house. So, yeah. Nothing in the P.O. box. Shipment's on the way out and I found a dollar on the floor on the way in, so gonna be a weird day I don't know you all want to send me happy mail I do have a PO box address it's down in the video description um, go for it yeah I'll open it on camera if you have a small channel I'll shout your channel out all right and who knows you might get something back from me at some point you never know I'll be back Him. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. Everybody, it is Monday morning, October 4th, 9 a.m. straight up. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad while the computer's booting up. I mean, you know, I am at the desk. Y'all should know the routine by now. I'm going to try to get a couple of things filmed today or at least done so that I can film something i.e. the sample's done so I can film the video and the video is not five million minutes long um, because tomorrow we're having work done on the house and the work primarily is being done in here in this room in the furnace closet and yeah I won't be able to use this room so uh, and the camera's got to get put away tonight so it's out of harm's way so um, yeah okay so I guess I'm not checking on Facebook groups at least not right now because Facebook is down everywhere around the world and all of its other apps are also down. So that can't be good. I'm thinking that might be really bad. So yeah. I do the laminating machine came. Yay! <laughs> So I'm gonna catch up on lab laminating the last of the botanicals that I wanna work with right now. And I'm working on another messy journaler video, so 
papers are drying for that. And yeah, just trying to finish up a bunch of stuff and figure out where, um, how <laughs> to move a bunch of stuff out of the way for the workman tomorrow. I also found a stack of Halloween themed, theme, themed things that I was going to work with this month that I completely forgot about. So, but I can't do it tomorrow. So later. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, I pushed one of the shelves over there. Everything else is over here. And so, yeah, plenty of space for them to work tomorrow. And I'm just thinking, I don't want to do any drastic changes to the way I have the table set up, but it's a good opportunity to like maybe clean the floor, maybe move a couple things around. I don't know, we'll see. I really also, just talked in a video I was just making about DIY collage papers. We all make DIY papers, right? I, anyway, there's an upcoming episode where I show you a new take. Maybe my new take on it. Something I did. Anyway, I digress. Some point, that's my DIY paper bin. At some point, that needs to be better organized. That's just not good. I have to think about it though. Ideally, I would have a big cabinet with one little bin for each separate kind of paper. My room is big, but it's not that big. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I could just use stuff up, maybe make some bundles for the Etsy shop if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. What are your suggestions? All right. I gotta put some laundry away. I've gotta go check the mail. Always things. I'll be back. This game populated. This corner is jammed with stuff. Literally nothing in the middle of the room. And I can't let the idea of reorganizing my paper go at the moment. So, excuse me, I'm going to have a, qu a quick go at sorting it, seeing if my idea will work using what I have. I do have a hoard of bins and organizational things because, you know, when, I, when you're obsessive about reorganizing things the way I am occasionally, okay, a lot, then you have like lots of stuff. You don't really get rid of anything. You just move it around. It's a thing, right? Okay, let's see where I can go with this and I'll be back.
Okay, I think that's gonna work. So this is now what the bits bank looks like with the six drawers of paper at the end. I do have a bin down there, down there, 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 that, that one. That has tissue paper in it and some miscellaneous papers. The ne one next to, whoops, the one next to it is stickers. And then that one right there is other miscellaneous large ephemera bits. I have a box of um, stencil waste in there and stuff like that. Um, but it was the paper I was having trouble dealing with. This will work just great. And I still have my larger scrapbook papers, uh, pads right there in between. I like it. I think I like it. I do have a stack I'm going to let go of, including some dictionary paper from a dictionary I just took apart. I mean, it was an entire dictionary's worth of paper and I don't need all of it. So, um, and there's some distressed paper in here and some other things. I have a lot of it, so I'm going to let go of it. Some things that I'm not going to use and they're going to, I'm going to let go of them. How am I going to let go of them? Don't know yet. So if you're interested, let me know. You got to pay postage. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's another one crossing. See another one. But there's deer. There they are. They're back. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, October 5th. What time is it? 8.20 a.m. The furnace people are here. The young men are here. And they're going to start prepping the house for putting in the new furnace and air conditioner. They have more crew coming on and off all day. There'll be an electrician coming to at some point and uh, yeah they've turned the power off to air conditioner and furnace already and so anyway work is getting underway <sighs> yeah all right i'll be back a bit but I'm not checking the mail anyway it's probably not here yet but you know I can't do anything about the art room I, uh, they're making a mess out of the house which I'd like to clean but I can't because they're not done yet and there's three Roth heating and cooling trucks in my driveway <laughs> more people keep showing up I don't know I guess more people more hands involved in the job means it all get done quicker maybe I don't know oh the mail is here holy cow color me surprised So it's just before 9 a.m. Wednesday, October 6th, I think. Anyway, I'm getting ready for the day. I have a meeting this morning and I just noticed, hold on, let me turn the camera around. Can you see that? I know the lighting is not great. Bambi's back. They're over there. Walking towards the woods. Corn bowls are full, so hopefully they got some before they left. You guys, there's corn. You'd think by now I would know how to position a camera, but no. Anyway, meeting is over. I'm going to film a couple of episodes of The Messy Journaler. I have my paper, uh, bleach paper drying, so we can work on that. Um, I'm going to do this. So this is a, obviously this is Yoohoo glue stick. It's my preferred kind of glue for most collage things in my art journals. I like a glue stick and you who sticks really well and it doesn't come off. Um, with any glue stick, you get down to the last little bit that you can't use and it's in this plastic thing at the end. And it's true with any kind of glue. Um, and you could just throw it away, yes, but I take, there's always a little glue on the bottom side I take this little spatula tool. This is actually a makeup tool, by the way. It's a little spatula makeup tool. If you, I think Google makeup spatula, you'll, one of these will come up on Amazon. And I dig out the glue. 
It's still usable glue, it's just at the bottom where you can't get to it. And I put it inside of this other glue stick and push it down. Oops. Glue, you, uh, glue art supplies are expensive. Even, I mean, even glue sticks, unless you use Elmer's, which nothing wrong with Elmer's. If you can find Elmer's Extreme, not the washable Elmer's. Um, washable Elmer's is good for basting fabric temporarily. Um, but I don't like using it in my journals. Um, like Elmer's Extreme, on the other hand, works great. It's a good alternative, but my preferred one is Yuhu. Anyway, I put it in, I push it down, spread it out flat, and then it's good to go for the next project. So I just keep refilling this one from all the ones that are emptied. And it goes up there. We're good to go. All right, I'm going to get to creating, and I'll be back. I got yesterday's and today's daily art practice done early. I just sat down on the couch just now and did it. Um, and I do little drawings or doodles or sketches or something every day, for those that don't know. Anyway, if you want to see what I'm doing, you have to follow me on social media. Pick one. Go on the link tree list of links. Um, if you want to see a lot more of what I do, you need to be a patron over on Patreon. You also get sneak peeks of videos, digital downloads from me, the occasional actual snail mail, like all that stuff. So anyway, let's go upstairs and check on the computer. Maybe, maybe it's done. I doubt. Surprise. It's almost done. One minute left. Holy crap. All right. Well, there you have it. I was wrong again. I'll be good. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, August, August, holy cow, October 7th, 8.58 a.m. I'm going to go run a few errands and check the P.O. box. I need to get some groceries. So we're going to get all that done this morning early. I also have art projects I want to work on, so... It's going to be a busy day, but that's okay. It's about 3.30ish. I think it's like 3.33 to be exact. Um, I got my little distressed black and white journal made. And I started working it. It'll be its own video. So anyway, walking around in the woods and coming out of the woods that aren't supposed to be in there. That's always fun. Not the first time. Anyway, I think it's a parent picking his kids up at school and they're making a shortcut through the woods to get home. It happens. Anyway, I um, got the black and white journal made. I did the first few pages and the cover in it. I'm using a combination of digital downloads from Mike Deacon's shop that I printed on sticker paper and stickers I've had and collected over the years. Some new ones I bought this year. Images I've collected over the years, black and white ones. Not necessarily skull or Halloween themed ones, but black and white images. Yes, skulls are involved. I do love a good skull themed thing, so, you know. Anyway, you'll see it in the upcoming video. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun uh, little project. It's not going to be a big, thick journal. I don't necessarily want to use up my entire hoard of skull themed things. Because, yeah, I'm constantly collecting them. But that being said, I do need to use some of it. So anyway, took a break from that. Got some stuff on the camera until my battery died and I had to change batteries. Then I got some more. I don't know what I missed. I won't know until I, <laughs> I go to edit. Who knows? Uh, anyway, I have so much trouble keeping the batteries going. <laughs> I don't know if it's the batteries or if it's me losing track of time, to be fair. I don't think it's the camera. I have a feeling it's moi. I'm walking, can we take a minute to talk about bras? I know, some of you just choked on your coffee. I'm sorry. So, you know, all you other women out there, and probably some men, understand what it's like to find the right bra. Hold on. When you find the right one, it's wonderful, but the journey to find the right one is extremely difficult. It involves a lot of trial and error and buying things that don't quite work that you think are gonna work. It's just horrible. Lots of background noise. Anyway, when you're young, you want it to be pretty. Underwires are good. You know, you wanna, but as you get older, I don't wanna deal with underwires and I don't really care if it's pretty. It just needs to do its job well. I found some, they worked really well. Some of them were pretty. Then I lost weight. 
when you're standing there and you're not even moving and it comes unclipped by itself or they fall out the bottom I know you're still choking on your coffee I'm sorry um, <laughs> it's just not good and it's time for a new one and then you have to go through the trial and error again because I don't know what's going to fit anymore when you buy one you think it's going to work it's too tight they squeeze out the sides under the armpits or cuts off your circulation or oh my god I think I finally found one but it's been really difficult. Why is it so hard? And in this day and age, especially of COVID, finding a shop to fit you properly? Seriously? Oh boy. That was one of two things I was looking for today. The other one was a dress for my brother's wedding, which I did not find. So we're gonna have to go out to pennies or something. Maybe over the weekend, Bob can go with me. We'll see. I hate buying clothes. Have I mentioned that already? First I see that behind me. You don't normally see big rigs with a big trailer in this neighborhood. Then hang on, I see this in front of me. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.21 a.m., Friday, October 8th. Don't get excited, we're sitting in front of the computer. I've been up for a while because I'm expecting the county inspector at any moment today from 8.30 on, so I had to get dressed early. Um, and of course, he hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> um, to inspect the work on the furnace and air conditioner and make sure everything's up to code and proper. So that's going to get done today, and hopefully we pass. And we noticed so. this morning when reviewing the security camera footage from overnight is that the coyotes were coming out of the woods over here again, chasing the cats. There's some pet cats that are loose and free, but there's also some feral cats. And the coyote, I think, is looking for dinner. So we've been seeing them a lot um, crossing our driveway sniffing around the driveway, sniffing around under my car because the cats go underneath my car. Yeah. So that's a thing. Anyway. guys it is nearly lunchtime and honestly we're just getting going we didn't make it to cars and coffee this morning because we just didn't feel like it <laughs> um anyway we're going out for a walk with you know spasmatic crazy pants noodle girl lily grand dog yeah i think that's no. wonderful i need to up my game with the pumpkin collecting i need more i only have three take five I need to go get some more. Holy cow. Have you ever started working on your computer only to end up down a deep, dark rabbit hole of sorting out and cleaning out hard drive files and reorganizing? And yeah, I just spent like an hour and a half <laughs> cleaning up a hard drive that should have been done a long time ago, to be honest, but I don't didn't want to do it. And finally it got to where I had to. So... Hopefully I, now I haven't organized it so much I can't find anything. Let's hope that's not the case. In the meantime, the last video in the Gothic Death Journal is saving right now. And then I will set the computer to load them all and schedule them to YouTube. 
and or draw box, and then I can walk away. I like that. I like walking away. I finally decided I should go through my closet. That squeaking is the dog. Um, because two reasons. I have a lot of clothes I knew that were not fitting me. And I need something to wear to my brother's wedding at the end of the month. Now, half of me is was terrified to try anything on because there's some really cute things in there. I was worried it still wouldn't fit me. Okay, let me just put it this way. When you can put on a pair of pants without taking your leggings off or zipping them up, and they're still huge, I think they're too big and it's time to let them go. <laughs> and some of the dresses, I didn't even have to unzip them to get them on. Um, some of them fit really well, and yay, I can fit in them again. Some of them are way too big. Talk about big. They're so big. So I have a bag full of clothes that's got to go out to donation. And I think I might have had something in my closet I haven't been able to fit into in a long time that maybe will work for my brother's wedding. That will save Mr. Bob back there. There he is. Some money. So, I like he, saving money. yeah, he can't be mad about it. Can't be mad about that. No. So anyway, and we got some covers in for the new air conditioner to keep the pine needles and things out of it. Um, and so I think that'll Bugs, work. Pine needles. Bugs, yeah, pine needles, squirrels. acorns, squirrels, yeah, all of it. So anyway, <sighs> it's been a busy day, although I don't feel like it has been. I think we've gotten a lot done. Oh no, it feels like it's almost over. It feels, yeah, it's, it's late. It feels late. It's, it feels like eight o'clock, but it's not. It's only four fifty-two. So I don't know. Maybe because it's overcast outside and it's a little gray. I don't know. Anyway, I'll check back in with you later. My last check-in for the week. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's 7.42 a.m. Sunday morning. I forgot to close the vlog last night. Oops. I hope you've had a good one. Um, we we did. We, it wasn't a bad week. It was a good week. It was an expensive week with the furnace and all, but it was good. We got it done. Anyway... Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <sighs> stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.